loves today, let's make tahini banana cake and it's keto friendly. So don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. So in the mixing bowl, put about 1 cup of tahini butter. So you can use peanut butter on this recipe. And put 6 large eggs. So our ingredients should be in room temperature. <laughs> now add 6 to 8 sachet of any sweetener. Or if you're using erythritol, use 1 fourth cup. And mix all the ingredients until well combined. Now add 1 half tablespoon of baking powder and 1 teaspoon of banana, banana extract. Add also 1 tablespoon of vinegar to remove the egg flavor of it. Eggy taste what I mean. <laughs> and mix it until well combined. Now add 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder and you just mix it. And one teaspoon of nutmeg powder and mix until well combined so our oven should be preheated at 180 degrees Celsius now prepare a baking pan with parchment paper so I'm using my adjustable baking pan and pour the tahini butter So add some crushed pecan nuts or any nuts you prefer. I also add walnuts. I just crush it. Some almond flakes. So you can skip this. Now add also unsweetened chocolate chips. And bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 35 minutes. Now our banana loaf cake is ready and let it cool before you remove it in the baking pan and that's it this is so good and it's so tasty and you can't believe that there's no flour on it and it's keto friendly so I hope this recipe will satisfy your cravings into banana loaf cake I will put on the description box the macros of each slice of this and I have the in my website the written recipe check in the description box so that's it thank you and God bless